Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of every day of life. I'm just finishing up my lovely cup of soup because it's a bit chilly in the, in the old studio. Now I was walking through um, a local town of mine not, not so long ago and I came across um, a painting that I saw um, in a gallery and this is not what I'm going to paint. What I'm going to paint is um, what I think that artist did. So it was an oil painting and there was only a few colours actually in it. And one of the best ways to, to create a painting and to sell a painting and be effective with that method is the fact that you need to keep things very very simplified and i mean a simplified palette etc so you can see that I'm, I'm just putting some ultramarine blue just on to my substrate which is a little bit of cardboard um, they used a canvas i believe for theirs so i'm just going to put some blue in as i'm talking and i was looking at as I normally do when um, I go to these type of places or see these type of things on the high street and that, I go to museums and I study how they actually painted. You're looking at the brush marks, the type of technique. Now bearing in mind that I'm an acrylic artist and I use only acrylics and I thought it would be good to try and replicate some sort of oil paint in effect now I've got a product that I managed to purchase because um, I don't make my own products anymore I've got a product that I've managed to purchase and I will explain that in another video um, later on um, in the beginning of the year in 2023 and what it allows you to do is actually create an effect of oil paint with acrylics so all i'm doing is just basically putting in some sort of a a sky basically like that um now if i was painting this in oils then this is what i would do i would put an acrylic background down you can paint oils on top of acrylics you can't paint acrylics on top of oils and the reason is because it's oil based um but you can paint acrylics uh, oils on top of acrylics because the, the acrylic base is water is water based, and it's uh, plastics basically. But you can't paint acrylics on top of oils because it'll just peel off. Um, it makes just just makes sense, doesn't it? If you think about it logically, that just makes sense. So this is what I would do normally if I was painting in oils. I would paint either. Um, a black and white or a burnt umber and white if I was doing a portrait um, I would do like a grayscale type of um, painting and then I would um, go in with um, I would go then go in with um, glazes of oils etc but if I was painting a landscape, I could do something very similar to what I'm doing now. So I'm just basically getting the bones of, of what I want in, which is sea and sky. That's the plan. And I thought I would just show this to you quickly because I thought it would make an interesting lesson. Now, you can paint oils on top of this because this is going to be sealing in the cardboard and then you can paint the oil, the oil on top of that where well, how long will that last well i'm not too sure but i know that the life um i know of oil paintings that have been painted on paper that, that have been done centuries ago that are still surviving these days so you know as far as as far as me waving a magic wand onto something like this and, 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 and saying, yeah, it's going to last you so long. We don't know. Even with acrylics, um, they've only been around since 1950-odd. So we, we, even now, we, we don't know how long acrylic paintings will last. Do, do, they, do they deteriorate over time? Are they plastic-based? So they should last a lifetime. But we, we honestly, 
we honestly don't know. Um, and this is what I'm trying to get to at the moment. So there, there's basically my, there's basically my, my C. I'm going to go straight into some green now, and I'm going to put in a bit of landmass like this. I don't know, just just something basic. I just want to show you. I just want to show you basically um, an idea of what you can do with acrylics on that. So there's a little bit of a, maybe a coastline or something coming down there like that. I'm using a simplified palette. Just blocking out colors. There you go. We could put another bit of land or something or a little bit of maybe that was connected to that and over the years you know it's, it's corroded away look so there you go a little bit of land that's just corroded away there you are that's all we want really um, as far as uh, this particular thing is concerned we don't want to worry too much about this we're looking for expanses of water and stuff like that So what I'm going to do now is dry that with a hairdryer because I want to put some more um, colours, um, darker colours and things into the sky. I'll show you what I mean now. So that should be dry enough. Now I've got myself a board, which I'm because I'm going to be using a palette knife. Um, I got myself a board which which I can hold, um, so I can put my colours on. Um, and if you have a look at my palette, you could see that I got some quite thick. Uh, paint that I've managed to to mix up and there is a product that you can use to to actually thicken your paints to to get these acrylics to basically act like oils um, which is really nice if you want to do that effect now once the painting is done uh, that the, you were doing let me just grab some tissue paper once the painting is done um, and it's varnished you're not going to know whether it's an oil painting or an acrylic painting because it's just the way the paint is actually going to be applied um, but before I do that I just want to get a brush um, and you can thin this down a touch look you can thin this still thin this down a touch if you add a little bit of water to it which is which is quite nice really and I'm just gonna get I'm brushing some sky like this and the good thing with acrylics is you just wet your brush and because we're painting on cardboard we can just spread this around a little bit you can still do it a little bit to um, canvas and stuff like that if you go in to seal and you're going to paint over your if you're going to paint over your um, not paint, your varnish over your painting, I should say. Paint over your varnish. That's what I was going to say. No, varnish over your painting, I was going to say. <laughs> so just put a little bit of sky in like that. You can see I pulled a little bit of my, my colour off there because I didn't dry it properly. And um, well, be careful of that because you can, you can lift paint sometimes. You can lift paint. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of this white paint just a touch of white paint and a little bit of that blue let's just get a little bit of sparkle into this like that And I, I presume, I don't know, but this is this is the way I would have painted that. This is what, the way I would have painted the painting if I was going to do an oils. You can use oils for the next stage. Or quite simply, you can just... You can just use acrylics like I'm doing now at the moment. We need a 
nice dark green. Like that. Get a little bit of fleck of green then. So let's get our, our palette knife, let's get a little bit of paint. All I'm doing is putting my paint, you can see it's quite thick. I'm getting some of this white paint that I've thickened up. I'm just going to put that onto my palette brush like this, or my palette I should say. And I'm going to scrape off a little bit of that just on the edge of my, on my palette knife. Now I'm just going to drag in some cloud just like this. Now, what you want here is what you want here is not to overwork this. Don't overwork it. You could be doing this plein air if you wanted to. Basically, we're just putting in some clouds, just like that. Add a little bit of blue now. Just mixing a bit of blue into that paint, like just like that. some shadow in just on these clouds and this is how I would do it if I was doing an oil painting so you're just getting those clouds in a bit more white paint onto my palette now Now you could have had a little tiny touch of a little tiny touch of um yellow if you wanted to just to warm things up a bit we're going to put a nice thick cloud just coming in so i'm putting the blue on first this time and there's a nice wispy putting it on thick because you wanted to make it look like oils Nice thick cloud, just coming in there, and a couple of these stringers, just across the background like that. There you go, you can see these clouds building and building, a lovely jubbly, I quite like that. Play around don't play around with them too much but you get that lovely textured effect that you would get um, in the sky now I'm adding some blue to the white just mixing that in again getting a little bit of paint just on the edge of my brush I'm just trying to pull in some texture into this C. bit of darker colour 
some shadows. as we come forward just trying to merge all that together some dark colour. Just down like that. Hopefully now we can get some pure white. Just put these waves in. Just like this. quite effective really get some green now nice dark green again on the palette knife Mix a bit of, we'll uh, get a bit of green. Let's get a bit of green on. I've got to put it by there. Put a bit of green and get a bit of this blue. Try and darken it up with a bit of blue. Just bringing that in. Like you would do if you were just doing it with oil painting. Just plopping it on. Make it nice and thick. Just like that. Giving it some... Raising it up off the canvas. Giving it some... Much needed... depth like that. And a bit of light green. Like that. Again, let's put this nice green onto our foreground. And I have sold paintings like this. It's, it's just putting paint on the canvas, really, and, 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 and creating this visual effect with just thick paint. And this is a wonderful way to do creating textures and stuff. Mm. 
with acrylics and not oils. So once you've done this with acrylics, you should be able to go to oils without without a problem, um, I think. Without a problem. All I'm showing you is a, a technique which you could try and create your own um, oil acrylic, <laughs> oil acrylic paintings I call these. Let's put that down there now, let's put my thing back there. Let's get a brush and Maybe that's too thin. What I like to try and do is smooth out now what you could do or what I would normally do in this instance is I'd let this dry a touch and then I'd go in and just put some fine details in like uh, if I got some paint I would let's just get some paint on my brush I'll show you what I mean I would put some very thin shadow lines in basically like that my paint is not working like I wanted to I need to get some fresh paint on there you get my you get my idea I hope just put in some thin lines there and maybe we can get Just the water splashing up against the the rocks there. Just like that. With a very small brush, just to give that effect that it's hitting rocks and things. As as the tide is coming in. play this play for hours and hours and hours hello My wife just rung me, so I have to go, unfortunately. But I hope that has given you some sort of insight where you can use thick um, acrylic paints as oil paints. And, um, well, basically, I have to run now to get my wife from work. So <laughs> I, will, I will see you on the next lesson. Have fun. Thank you very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time.